the fans of the martial arts, before I will introduce the next fight, I would like to announce that the next KOK tournament will be at 18th of April in Alitus Arena in Lithuania, of course, live on Fightbox. All information on official website kokfights.com. Ladies and gentlemen, this is KOK World Hero Series 2015 live on Fightbox. It's time for fight number five. We do it in 65 kilogram. Blue corner. Fighter from Italy. Dimitri Angelini. So here we go, fight number five, and our fabulous King of Kings in association with FEA Eagle Series 2015, fight five. Representing the blue corner, and coming all the way from Italy, this multinational, multination King of Kings fights. Eagle Series, World Grand Prix, Dimitri Angelina. His opponent, ladies and gentlemen, Rich Corner, fighter from Moldova, Stanislav Renica. So in comes one of the local heroes again. They're hoping to pull the last loss back. Stanislav Renica. From the Lion Boy Thai gym here in Moldova. Of a local hero here, multifaceted champion. Against the man from Verona in Italy. This 65 kilogram fight. Regis Guzmenta, our fabulous MC, with the shiny jacket, the man who's given us the facts and the figures, and the referee brings them together for the last bit of rules. So here we go. Again, the usual three by three minutes. Round one. 65 kilo weight division, the fast and furious weight division, in my opinion. This one and the one below it, about 60 kilograms, which was my old fighting weight back in the day. I was fighting under Master Skin. 
very lucky, gifted to have had won two British and a European title at lightweight and super featherweight when I was fighting in Thai boxing. Trained, like I said, by Grandmaster Sken from Manchester. But it's not about me, it's about these while I'm doing the commentary. So Stanislav Ranita representing the home turf Moldova here in Kishno, the capital, in the Manaj Arena, live on Fightbox. If you have just joined us or you've been with us from the beginning, thank you. Our fabulous promoter, Mr. Damir Dorin and Mr. Donatus Simonatus, the visionaries, the pioneers, the presidents, the people who put this great show and fight card together. And this is looking already fabulous. Crowd behind me have come alive big time. Dimitri Angelini, blue corner, blue gloves, the Italian faces the bad boy from Moldova, from the Lion Muay Thai, Ranita Stanislav. Both fighters going at it in this first half of the first round of three minutes each round. Straight punches down the middle, takes a low kick. Again, stiff jab for Anita, and a jab, cross, hook, jab. Nice combo, takes a body kick, comes in with a nice body shot, punches. Tries to pummel his man down there, body hook, upstairs, and with a kick, punch, punch, kick, combo. Italian still there. Nice low kick block, blocking with the shin, as they do in Muay Thai. A lot of these, like I said, have Muay Thai trained, which is, to me, the best, the hardest, stand-up fighting system in the world, Muay Thai. Because there are no rules stood up in Muay Thai, very much. You can throw everything but the kitchen sink. I think the headbutt's the only thing you can't throw. But it's not MMA. And it's not Muay Thai. This is KOK, kickboxing. Nice two body hooks, spinning back fist, but used his forearm, and he apologised for that. Good sportsmanship from the Italian. Shows the level of professionalism of these two and the respect as well, which is big time in this sport. Good to see. Well, Torrid times with the Italians, he gets pummeled in his own corner. And the crowd, I can't hear myself speak. Renita Stanislav fires at random on the last 10 seconds. And you tell me who's got that round. Well, it was a simple bombardment from the bad boy from Moldova. Absolute, almost landslide at the end. Here we see some of the action from our fabulous cameramen. KOK style. Let's look at this. In they go. FNF, fast and furious. KOK. Okay, knockout, killer strikes. OK, here we go. We've had round one. Round two is coming now. What's going to happen? Because for me, it was a big finish at the end of that round one. To finish with solid combinations, kicks and punches. Rained on the Italian in his own corner. But as the Italian got something we've not seen yet. We've had three minutes test and he's took the test. But Renita Stanislav. Second round. Stanislav, Second round has come here to impress his hometown fans and live up to the reputation of bad boy. Nods as he takes two good low kicks, but reigns back with solid punches. Italian coming in with fast and furious kicks. I like the way he uses his combinations, Anita. 
Young Lords with some fabulous hands. One there for catching a leg, which is not allowed in KLK rules. Italian under an onslaught again. Got a good guard and he's going to need it against this man from Moldova. Again, the body hooks go in. Uppercuts the straights. Oh, solid, he's rocked him. Italian is under pressure. The referee looking very closely. The gum shield comes out. That's got to be an eight count. I'd be surprised if it's not. The note down is the same. No, he's allowing it to continue. Well, the referee was very good about that. Gracious. And the Italian will be pleased. Saying that, he's losing big time here. And again, catches the leg, he takes him down. Been one for the catching. So, three wins and a loss for Moldova. Renita Stanislav doesn't want another loss for Moldova. He is fired up big time. And he rains down on the Italian. Italian looks really under pressure. Remember, it takes it out of you as well, being hit as it does when you're actually striking. It wears you down. It takes energy from you when you're being hit. Every strike takes out of you. Every strike you throw takes out of you. Claret runs from the nose of the Italian. Absolute torrid times now for Dimitri Angelini. How he's still standing there is a testament to his fitness. Well, there might be a point coming off if he does that again and catches the leg. Less than 30 seconds remaining of the second round. Jumping knee, no power in it though. The guy is tired. Spinning back this desperation from the Italian now. Understandably, throws a big right. Ten second hammer's gone down, and he's back in his own corner. The way it starts, sorry, the way it finished in the first round. Well, the Italian is tough, it's got to be said. He has not come here to lie down, but this is tough times for Italy. The Veronian man. Here we see some of the replay in slow motion. I love slow motion. You get to see the face grimace, the muscles tense. You see, look at that. Fabulous camera work. So, one minute is up. The rest, the advice. Well, to me, it's complete domination for the moment. 10, 9, first round. 10, 9, second round. The Italian can only win with a knockout. Has he got it in him? We've seen stranger things happen in the fight game. You know and I know, one punch, one kick, one knee can change the game. And again, silence bestows on this 5,000 plus seater packed to the rim, packed to the rafters, every seat taken here in the man beautiful Manage Arena in Kishno, the capital of Moldova. Some exciting stuff coming up as well as in the ring. Okay, okay. 
World Grand Prix series is off and running. This year, the plus 93, that's the heavyweight division. Eight fighters, eight countries, one champion, one belt, one winner. Also running in parallel with that will be a 77 kilogram welterweight World Grand Prix. Again, eight fighters, eight countries, the best of the best. Only one winner, last man standing, KOK style. Well, one and a half minutes left of this third and final round. Oh, big left hook! Rocked the Italian right the way down to his ankles. But he's got a chin on him, you've got to give him that. The Italian gets up, looks over the ropes to where I was sat, just looked at me saying, yeah, I got caught well. Takes two big ones and says, come on, wow! This Italian is tough, you've got to hand it to him. He's took all of Renita Stanislav's shots, the biggest and the best shots he could throw. You couldn't hit a punch bag that hard. Well, this guy has took it and come back. You've got to hand it to the Italian. And I hope he meets the bell at the end and hears that and still standing, because he deserves that respect from his opponent and from every single one of the 5,000 plus people. And all you on Firebox TV channel around the world watching this live, he certainly won my respect. Sandy Holt from Sunny Bolton by the Sea with a funny haircut. You have got my respect, Dimitri Angelini. But Renita Stanislav takes a hook. Buckles in, but doesn't stop him. He comes forward, 10 seconds. This is fantastic. Well, I'm impressed the way he's come back in his third round, but come back and took more shots. <laughs> took more shots than a bar in Bolton where the girls can drink the shots. The girls in Bolton can drink shots, trust me. <laughs> wow, yes, the crowd are double it, double it. Clapping here. Why? For the man in the blue corner, even though he shakes his head, should not. Because he has gone to the wire and given her absolutely an amazing account of himself. Really, to me, that's the man of the night. For our heart, spirit, guts of glory. And obviously, Renita Stanislav for his great performance. So this could be one of the fights of the night, this. He certainly did not come here to lie down. A landslide victory, of course. I think it's part. You'll know what's going on. They don't need to announce the decision, but you'll hear it now. Italy should have been proud of that performance. In comes the man, Bridges Cusmentus. For the official. Announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds by unanimous judge decision, the winner is Red Corner Stanislav Renica Mono. And a nice gesture there of Dimitri Angelini. Fight. <laughs> what a great fight.